Hey guys, the Blue Lover Channel here with um, some heartbreaking news. If you're a fan of the Angry Grandpa show, um, Charles Green, that was his name, Angry Grandpa, had passed away about two hours ago with a fight of um, cirrhosis and cancer. Um, he died around family. Um, I found that on Facebook about an hour ago or so. And I just want to send my condolences to the Green family and um, Michael Pickle Boy from A Kid Behind the Camera and his whole entire family. Um, just wanted to just shoot this uh, short video and acknowledging that we lost one of our own YouTube family members, even though not a lot of people enjoyed the channel calling it fake and saying that they were just doing it for the money and doing things, you know, that normal people would do. But they were like a normal family. Angry Grandpa was an angry guy. And if you've heard stories that he was like that and people think things were fake, they weren't. People just said the pranks were fake, they were made up. You can say that, you know, that's your opinion. But here I'm going to talk about how I got hooked onto Angry Grandpa's um, channel. And it was the first time years ago when Hostess was going out of business. And there was a shortage on Twinkies and... Um, he was looking for his boxes of Twinkies and Michael and Bridget were telling him he ate them all or he didn't have any and he went crazy and he didn't want like the good value uh, Twinkies from Walmart and um, so it was the uh, Twinkie episode of Angry Grandpa that got me hooked and um, got onto countless episodes with the Walking Dead prank and um him just destroying things with this just me episode where they try this can of funky fish and or him doing his cooking videos or him not cooking well him and michael going back and forth or destroying the playstation 4 and one of my all-time favorite um angry grandpa um, rant videos was when he had the balls and the call dunkin donuts to tell him that they didn't put enough jelly in the donuts like i could not stop laughing i've seen that video so many times and it just gets better and better every time i watch it he was just calling Dunkin' Donuts to let them know they were being cheap and stingy with not adding so much jelly into the jelly donuts. He, if I would have a bad day or I needed a laugh, I would just turn on Angry Grandpa and put in one of the videos, one of my favorites, and or watch the Q&As, or just watch one of the fart compilations of Angry Grandpa, which I've also done on my channel, and done reactions to the Tin Can Challenge and other things from Angry Grandpa. And, um... It's a sad day when you lose one of your own YouTubers. He was though, even though he was older than everybody else and he was at his last few months, not as the angry grandpa we knew him, and he was sick, but he always made sure that his youngings, that's what he called his fans. He didn't call them fans, he called them his youngings, to make sure that he was around. And um, YouTube was his life, it got him out of poverty. You know, his son Michael bought him a house. He bought him the dream car he wanted. You know, I am not a big YouTuber who makes money. I'm a YouTuber who's doing this as a hobby. You know, they made pranks and they did vlogs and they did everything. But they did it as a family, even though they would argue over, you know, Thanksgiving turkeys or Christmas or anything or him doing, you know, taste tests for the new Burger King or McDonald's sandwiches. And he would just do everything. and um, But he did it with just him being honest, being angry or being funny or just didn't want to do it. Or his Q&As where he would just answer the stupidest questions and do it and make fun of the person's question, which was just great. And I was just grateful that I got to, you know, see a lot of his videos when he was still alive. And now he is gone. And um, I'm sad and um, just... It, I know that some people didn't like Angry Grandpa, some of the bigger YouTubers, you know, didn't care, didn't acknowledge them, and who gives a shit about them, you know? At the end of the day, some people love doing YouTube for, for the hell of it instead of the money, and you can tell which YouTubers love doing YouTube and which ones don't. Sometimes it's just, it's sad. But sometimes, you know, some YouTubers do it to get out of poverty or just not getting out of not doing any work. I work for a living. I do YouTube as a hobby. I don't even get paid probably a dollar here and there, but that's it. You know, they did it so they can get out of where they were in the situation of not having anything to having something. And making Grandpa's life more comfortable as he's got on in his age before he had passed away today. Was always a fan and always will be a fan. And we have all his videos on the Angry Grandpa Show and his own YouTube channel, Grandpa's Corner. A hard day.
for Angry Grandpa fans and for YouTubers out there who loved Angry Grandpa and who adored him. And I never got to meet him, and um, I wish I did. Um, but um, I'm glad I got to know him watching all his YouTube videos and, and him making me laugh when he called Dunkin' Donuts to tell him they didn't have enough jelly in the donuts. Or when Michael would put salt in his coffee or put the Nair in a shampoo bottle. Those are the things Michael did. But um, yeah, guys, I just wanted to make this remembrance video for Angry Grandpa Charles Green. You will always be remembered. Mr. Green, you made my days more fun and entertaining and got me out of funks when I needed it. And you made me laugh so loud. At one time, my family came on and asked me why I was laughing, and I showed them the Angry Grandpa video when he was calling Dunkin' Donuts, and they watched it and they couldn't stop laughing. And then we watched the Walk It Dead prank, or we watched every Angry Grandpa prank or videos, and it would give us just a, a hell of a laughter and give us just joy. And um, he is gone, and um, and it's sad, like I said, and. Um, to the Green family, Michael and, and Bridget and um, Kim, and even though the situations with their brother Charlie Green and Charlie Chill, you know, even though Charlie did wrong at the end, I just hope the time that Charlie was with, with his dad, he knew that he got to spend time with his father. So I just hope that everybody respects their wishes and, you know, give Grandpa the condolences and the prayers that they need right now because they lost their father. I have not lost. I never had my father in my life. Never. I had my mother raising me as a single mom, and she's both my mother and my father. And she's still around, and I'm spending time with her every day, even though I drive her crazy. But I love my mother very much. And I love her to the day that she is gone. But right now, I'm cherishing every moment with my mother, and you should cherish that with your father or your parents or anybody that you love. And if I'm crying on this video, I apologize, but I'm not going to apologize. These are tears of sadness because you lose a YouTuber, a part of the YouTube family, and someone that gave you entertainment and joy for the last 10 years or how long they were on YouTube, but he did. So like I said, Angry Grandpa, Charles Green, you will be missed, sir. And you're now in heaven, and you are now driving God crazy. Yeah. All right, guys, I am the Blue Air Lover channel. And um, just leave a comment down below if you were a fan of Angry Grandpa and let me know what was your favorite video of Angry Grandpa and what made you a fan of the show. So leave that comment and um, that's it, guys. Rest in peace, Angry Grandpa. You will be missed.